Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn an easy way to validate multiple different file format attachments when new items with attachments are added to a SharePoint list. To help apply this to a relevant use case, I'm just going to use SharePoint's list template for employee onboarding. This example template lets you upload relevant files for an employee onboarding process, and we'll want to make sure files in our list are valid and error-free before we start using them. This way, we'll have nothing but high-quality documents available in our onboarding process. Before we get started, it would be awesome if you could like the video and subscribe to our channel. We're going to click Create and start an automated cloud flow. We're going to trigger our flow with the SharePoint When an Item is Created trigger. Our flow is going to get items when they're added to a list, check those items for attachments, get the attachments and attachment contents for relevant items, and then validate the attachment file bytes and return a result. We can start by configuring our trigger action, which just entails creating our SharePoint connection if we haven't done that already. After that, we can select our site address and list name from each dropdown. This trigger step automatically checks items for attachments and produces dynamic content labeled Has Attachments. If we set up a condition control as our next action, we can set Has Attachments equal to True and filter out items that don't contain attachments right away. We can then set the false branch of our condition scenario to terminate with the value Cancelled when items are created without attachments. Next, we can open a new action within the true branch of our condition. Here, we can find and add the SharePoint Get Attachments action. After we define our site address and list name once again, we can satisfy the ID field with dynamic content labeled ID from our trigger step. Now we can add another new action, and this time we can look for the SharePoint Get Attachment Content action. We'll configure this action about the same way as our previous action. Only this time, we'll also provide our attachment's file identifier value in the additional field we see here. Power Automate will now automatically wrap our get attachment content action in a for each control to account for the possibility of multiple files attached to a single list item. Within our for each control, we can now add our file validation action. For this step, we're going to use a CloudMersive document conversion connector action called auto detect content type and validate. To find it, we can type CloudMersive into the search bar, then scroll down to find the document conversion connector. And finally, we can click See More to view the connector actions list. We'll find the action we want near the top of the actions list because it's arranged alphabetically. As the action's title suggests, this API will automatically determine the file type by analyzing the attachment contents, and it will then check the specific file type for relevant errors and warnings. When we open this action, we'll first need to authorize our connection if we haven't already. That entails naming our connection and supplying a free CloudMersive API key. We can get a free API key by creating an account on the CloudMersive website, and that will give us a limit of 800 API calls per month with no additional commitments. We can now add our attachment file bytes in the first field of this action using dynamic content,
and we can then enter any name we want in the second field, but it's easiest just to use the display name value we'll find in our get attachment step. Now we can save our flow and test it by adding a new item with an attachment to our SharePoint list. I'll be using a valid docx file that contains an employee ID card template. When our flow finishes running, we can check our response object for a validation result. As we can see, my flow identified the file format extension, determined it was a valid file, and then went on to describe a minor error with my file in some detail. We can use the document is valid response from this API to trigger subsequent conditions in our flow. For instance, we could send our errors and warnings response object to a stakeholder in the employee onboarding process. We could do so using an automated Microsoft Teams message. If you have any additional questions about validating files with CloudMersive APIs and Power Automate, please feel free to reach out to a member of our team.